Hey guys, out there in the knife world, this is Barbecue Boys 76 here. I'm here doing my first review um, ever and my first YouTube video ever. So please forgive the unprofessionalism. I do not have my camera or tripod, so I'm doing this from my iPhone 5. Um, okay, I received this knife on November 30th. It is now December 2nd. I believe I'm the first person to have received this. Um, Heather from Chris Reeve gave me a call. So hey, Michael, I'll have this knife. I know you want it, uh, so I want to see if you want it now. So I said, absolutely, send it over. So I have it, um, and I want. I feel I feel compelled to go ahead and do a quick video. I have posted several comments and photos on the internet, but uh, nothing you know uh, speaks for itself better than a video. So let me quickly get to some facts, of likes and dislikes about this knife. Um, there's really nothing I don't like about it, quite honestly. I have several, several, several CRKs, and I have had more in the past, and I've had many, many customs in high-dollar knives, and I still have a lot, but I always come back to my Chris Reeve knives. Never fails. These knives are great. Um, <clears throat> okay, some likes. I love everything about this knife, for the most part. I love the new finger grooves, um, the new dual standard Thumb stubs, thumb, thumb studs, you are paying for it, but it comes standard, which I do like. Not necessarily for functionality reasons, but for aesthetically, it's more, I don't know, it just looks better to me. Um, the blue, traditionally, I don't like, but you know what? I actually kind of like it on this knife. Um, this little, I don't even know what this is, but this was not on the prototype when I saw it at Blade 2012, and the actual jimping is totally different than on the prototype which I like the prototypes jumping a good bit better. So I was a little little bummed when I saw that jumping there. But this here, this has been getting a little bit of negative attention on the forums. But, you know, I, and at first I really didn't like it myself. But uh, I've been carrying it for the past two days and uh, I don't even notice it anymore already. Uh, and quite honestly, I don't think it looks bad. It's, it's really finished off nicely. I don't think it's going to work with a fire steel. Um, the jumping will work far better with that than this little notch here. Um, they kept the Idaho made. I, I do not like the Idaho made. I've let them know in the past. Been very outspoken about that in the past, but um, you know, it's, it's grown on me a little bit. Uh, I wish they would have turned it right side up, but uh, it's in my opinion upside down. Um, they have now on this new Sabenza gotten rid of the bushing pivot bushing system that you have seen on the old Sabenzas. They have now adapted the bushing system of this guy. The Amazon, um, and the Amazon now, they no longer use this type of pivot. They are now using this type of pivot, which, um, you know, this type of pivot makes it for a much easier um, assembly and disassembly than this. This looks so cool, and, but it is a little bit of a pain. Um, I actually have a couple pivot custom pivot tools that um, I have picked up on blade forms. Um, looks great. Um, let's get back, let's put this guy back for a minute. Let's get back to this. Okay, a couple of other things I really do like about the new 25. Again, I'm, whole, I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm sorry. Okay, let me pick up my speed here. <clears throat> to me, the scale is a lot cleaner. They have gotten rid of this locating hole for machine, you know, this was done there for machining purposes. It is no longer there. They have gotten rid of the lanyard hole. No longer there. I like this new update better. Um, for me, this served no purposes whatsoever unless you had a unique graphic or Lisa's favorites unique and they put a stone in there. Um, that is, I have a couple of those and they put a stone in there for me. But uh, I like it this way far better. As far as lanyard hole goes, I don't really use too many lanyards on my knives to begin with. Um, so this one here, you know, over time your lanyard, your, your lanyard will get eaten up by the blade tip whenever you close it. So that's one reason why I never really carry them. But on the 25, the lanyard has a nice backspacer back here which wraps around. You can wrap your cord around it and tie it that way. I did try to put a hinderer um, back colored anodized backspacer back there, but it would not fit. So that's that. Okay, a couple other new things. When I disassembled this knife, twice actually, it smoothed out, it, it was a lot smoother after I disassembled it, cleaned it, re-lubed it with some Chris Reeve grease, uh, it worked out pretty well, 
And then the second time I did it, I added the grease and for fun, I threw some nano oil on there as well. It has really, really loosened up a lot. When I first received this knife, it was very tight, very, very stiff. Um, the lock bar never has stuck, so it, there's no stickiness there. So that's not an issue, but it was just very tight. I could really hardly open it. Now I can flick it, which Mr. Reed, I am very sorry. Um, I do not flick my knives, but um, this one can be flicked now that I've taken it apart. Um, very impressed with taking it apart. It's actually a joy uh, to do it. Not there was much of a problem with the old knives, but this knife here, you take the three screws out. This blade stop pin here stays in the knife. It is connected with this, whatever this is. I'm not, I'm not sure what the terminology is. But this stays in there. This backspacer stays in there. Even though there's a, th even though it stays in there, this side is threaded on the inside of the backspacer, and this side is threaded. You don't even need to take this out. I'm pretty sure the backspacer will come out. No need to. I tried to force it out by just giving it, you know, a good pull. It wouldn't budge, and I, I didn't feel like really messing with it. So, no need to pull the screw out. Boom, boom, boom. Three screws come out. The scale comes off, which is pretty tight. If you know anything about Chris Reeve knives, the tolerances are extremely tight, and that scale is on there pretty good. Um, they do provide two of the uh, Weha W I H A hex uh, wrenches for the pivot. Uh, they did not provide me a, a wrench for the uh, the other screws quite honestly but I have since I have about 20 Chris Reeve knives <laughs> I don't really need one so um, so you just put both of your wrenches in there and you can just pull away um, and there's a fail it's, it's, it's basically a foolproof way of doing these washers in the past you could reverse your washers by accident and there you could pinch a washer and all that stuff because you forget which sides connected it faces the blade which side does not so on this lock bar side, there is a washer that has a little bit of a uh, thing that sticks out from the disc. And then that little piece that sticks out goes into the scale of the lock side. Um, see if we can see anything that would indicate that. Mm -hmm. Well, I can see it here, but I don't think the camera is going to get it. I do not see it actually. Well, regardless. So you can't mess up that side putting the washer backwards. This side you still can, but you know, it's less the it's half the hassle than it was before. Um, this does now have the Amazon ceramic detent ball, um, which there's a hole in the blade for the detent ball. Um, <laughs> the finger grooves are great, they're comfortable for me. They fit in my hand just perfectly. No hot spots at all. There's no hot spots from the clip unless you really get down on that knife and grip it like a baseball bat. And when I do, I feel like a little hot spot on the very bottom of my pinky. But that's because that clip there is kind of bowed out for some reason. On the 21 Classic, flat. Here you go. It's bowed out, so I need to work on that a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure what they're going to do with Amazon now that this 25 is out. To me, this knife is every bit as beefy as this one, but it slices a heck of a lot better than this one. I peeled an apple yesterday, and this was, and they're both sharp knives. They both, this came, of course, razor sharp. This one was put on the wicked edge and sharp by a friend of mine. And um, this, God, this really peeled it so much better than this. Um, let's see what else. I'm running out of time. Okay. The the blade shape has a little bit more of a pro, uh, what I call a hybrid, or what's been called a hybrid uh, profile. The large, regular, everyone's favorite blade shape. It has a lot of belly to it, a lot more belly. This is actually a swedged large, regular. The 21 has a less belly and more pointy, I guess you could say. But to me, this is a little bit more of a hybrid of the two. This is a little bit more belly than the 21. And I also love this grind, how it kind of tapers off into the handle and offers a really nice streamlined look. Whereas this comes up and boom, drops right off. Um, so, I really uh, encourage everyone to take a look at this knife. I'm very happy with it. This is my new EDC. And I really hope they come out with a 
uh, small twenty, a uh, small twenty-five, and I hope so. I really hope they bring the inlays back on this knife. They that they, they uh, um, implement, they took away on the large regular annuals. So they're no longer doing the annuals. So I hope they can bring the one piece inlay on here and get rid of the two inlays that you see on the twenty ones. It goes this way and on the lock side here. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. So that is it. Any questions? Please leave some comments. Thanks, guys.